Hey everyone, No Gas Nico here. We're going to talk about wiring batteries in a bank. Uh, what ways you want to do it and why. Uh, right now I have three 12 volt AGM batteries here. Uh, they're all the same brand, roughly the same uh, age. Uh, this one I've been running for a few months in my solar system. These two are brand new. So what I like to do is start and show you the voltages of each. Uh, I put them on a trickle charger Got them all up to their full capacity. Um, they've been sitting for a day. So let's go ahead and we'll do a te quick test, see where they're at. And then I'm gonna show you the difference between wiring in series and parallel. All right, let's go. All right, you can see here, these are not connected in any way. I got the, the nuts for these studs off to the side. So we're gonna go ahead, got my negative sides over here, positive back here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this voltmeter and go ahead and take a reading on each battery. So the first one, I got 12.3 volts, 12.9, and 12.9. So you can tell this one's a little used. It's not quite getting up to voltage, and it might not be fully charged. So um, that's what we got each individual battery. All right, so let's talk about wiring in parallel. Why would you want to run wire in parallel? Well, wiring in parallel means you will connect all of your positive terminals together and all of your negative terminals together. What do I mean by that? You get jumper wires. So I would take my positive, I would jumper a positive like this, and I would jumper another positive like this. And we're just gonna go ahead and put the nuts on it just to keep them in place. Then we're going to do the same thing with the negative. We're going to put a negative to negative. Negative to negative. So we'll go ahead and put the nuts on. Okay, now these are connected in parallel. So why would I wanna connect these in parallel and not in series? So what in parallel does is it maintains the voltage of the system. So I'm gonna to continue to stay at a 12 volt system. Now I can come off of either end of the battery and connect it to my inverter or my load. And what will happen is now these batteries will drain out together at the same time and they will stay in balance. Now what that does is that gives you more capacity. So you have a 12 volt, but you increase your amp hours. Now that's one good way if you have a 12 volt system and let's say your, your batteries aren't lasting long enough, you can add capacity by wiring these in, in parallel. So I'm gonna take a quick picture of this so you can see how these are actually wired together with positive and negative, positive being on this side, negative being on that side, and I color coded the wires to make it easier for you to see. You just add, you just keep adding positives and keep adding the negatives and tying them together. And you can make this as long as you want, battery after battery after battery. And what that'll do is that just keeps increasing your capacity. And it will be able to keep your inverter running longer when there's no sun or at night or you don't have any way to charge the battery, they will have a larger capacity so it can run longer. And that's my goal here is I'm gonna run three of these together in parallel so I can have a, run, a longer run time at night when there is no sun. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check the voltage and show you that the voltage didn't change. All I did was change its capacity. So all right, let's go move the camera and we're gonna show the voltage. See here, again, I have negatives, positive sides, so they're all running together. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my negative lead and I'm gonna to touch it. And I'm gonna to touch it to the positive. And you see I'm at 12.6, 12.7 volts. So I'm gonna see if I can. 
Okay, and that doesn't matter if I go negative to positive back here. I still have 12.6 volts. So no matter how I connect it, so if I wanted to connect negative, positive to my inverter, or negative and positive to my inverter, um, it would be better to go negative, positive to the inverter. That way it's actually drawing across the entire bank and not pulling from the closest battery first, and then this one, and then this one, to where this would actually be depleted, have a larger cycle, than the rest of them. So jumpering it across here to your inverter is the best way to connect it. Wiring it in par parallel keeps the same voltage but increases your capacity. So you can actually have more runtime. So your batteries will last longer. Uh, think of it as an electric car with a larger kilowatt hour capacity battery. will drive further because it has more storage capability. And that's essentially what they do in electric cars is they just keep stacking batteries to give you that extra capacity so you can go further. Uh, that's what we're doing here with my solar system. So I'm gonna go ahead and change these wires out and I'm gonna wire this in series next and explain to you what's going on there. Okay, now you gotta remember I have all the negative terminals on this side, positive terminals on this side. Now when we run it in series, what we mean, we're running it in series from negative to positive to negative. So we go, we're gonna run a jumper wire across from this positive to this negative, and then from this positive to this negative. And I'm gonna show you what that does. Essentially what that's doing is that's going to add up the voltages. Now your amp hours are gonna stay the same, but you're gonna have increase voltages. So let me show you that. All right, so I'm just going to connect these two in series and show you. You remember this was like 12.6 and this was 12.9 volts. So now I'm going to check from the negative terminal here to the positive terminal here. And this is how we would connect our inverter for a 24 volt system. I would connect the inverter from this lead to this lead to the inverter and I would have a 24 volt Invert uh, system. So checking here to here, I'm now at 25.4 volts. So I've increased this from a 12 volt system to a 24 volt system. And you can see where I am at 25.4 volts. All right, so let's say I want to increase it even more and I want to go add another 12 volts. So I'm going to go from this positive cable to this, or this positive terminal, to this negative terminal. So I'm gonna connect it here, to here. Okay, so now I'm gonna check it from this negative to this positive. And I'm gonna have a really hard time showing you that because that's so far away. I'm wondering if I can get this nut to hold my... There we go, that's a little better. And I'm gonna run it over here. I remember I'm gonna go 12, 24, 36. I'm adding my voltages. And you can see here, I'm at 38.2. So there you go, there's a difference between parallel and series. Parallel just adds capacity, adds amp hours, adds how, much, how long this system will actually work. Um, when you do it in series like this is wired right now, you're increasing the voltage. Now, why would you want to increase your voltage? Well, when you increase your voltage, you don't have to pass as many amps through your wire. So a higher voltage system doesn't require really thick cabling. Now, this 12 volt system, I have a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. I have to run two gauge cable to it because of the amp draw that, I mean, it's like 140 amps that this thing, that thing will pull. And that's a lot for a 12 volt system. Now, if I did a 24 volt system, it would cut my amps down. That same inverter, if it was a 24 volt, 2000 watt, would only draw 70-ish uh, amps. I, I don't know the amp, I had to do the math to get the amps. I'll put it up here, what the real amps are. Well, it's basically volts times uh, amps will give you your wattage. So 12 volts times your amp. So to get 2,000, you would just have to take whatever uh, 
2,000 is divided by 12, and that's how many amps you have. If I divide it by 24, it's half the amps. If I divide it by 48, it's a quarter of the amps required. So I can run four 100 watt panels that pull about seven, eight amps each. But if I ran them in uh, series, I would stay at seven to eight amps for the whole four pack of panels. And then that would give me lower cabling requirements. So I can save costs on the size of cable. I don't have to worry about them overheating because I have too small of a cable on such a large amp draw. Now, if I ran four in parallel, I would add that amperage together. Now that amperage would go eight amps times four. Now I got a 32 amp system. Uh, again, that's not good because you, it depends on the size wire you have. If you only have uh, 10 gauge or eight gauge wire and you're starting to run 30, 60 amps, you're going to burn something up. So that's what is the benefit of running the difference between series and parallel. Now you can run, I have a 36 volt system right here. If I got three more batteries, I could tie those in series and have another 36 volt system. And then I can connect the two series together on a bus bar in parallel. And that would give me more capacity in 36. So I can run an infinite number of these 36 volt packs in parallel with each other and that would give me more capacity so to summarize make it simple running it in parallel increases capacity running in series increases your voltage and also lowers the amperage of the entire system so you're able to run smaller cabling uh, which is my goal with this system i'm going to run it into a 48 volt system once i upgrade my uh, charge controller, uh, I'm gonna, I have a 30 amp controller right now. I can only run three 100 watt panels off it. So I'm gonna upgrade that to a 48 volt, uh, but I have to get another battery to make this 48 volt. So I'm gonna get a combo series. So um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. So when I do upgrade this to a 48 volt system, you'll get notified and you'll see how I get that done. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and hook all this up and I'm going to connect it in parallel to my 12 volt system. And we're gonna get this, my system back online because right now I'm running on grid power and I would like to go back offline, uh, off grid. So, all right, again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching, God bless.